So Book Rat Misty here on YouTube is having a chat about Desert Island Books. I first saw a response video by Words of a Reader and I decided it was a pretty good idea. The first category is a book you have already read and love and want to have to reread. For my book, I chose Wuthering Heights since it's one of my favorites and I like to reread it every couple of years. Every time I do, I notice something different and I just love how crazy and dramatic it is. I know the book and Emily Bronte really well so this would definitely be a comfort to have with me. The second category is a book you haven't read but have been meaning to. For this, I chose a heartbreaking work of Staggering Genius by Dave Eggers. As I said in my last video, I've read the first chapter of this and I really love it so far and I think it would definitely be very entertaining and a moving read to have with me on a desert island. The third category is a series of books. I chose A Song of Ice and a Fire by George R. R. Martin. I chose this because I absolutely love the first two books and there are several more books that I haven't read including two that aren't even out yet and it would definitely be very time consuming. I get totally absorbed by the story so I would never get bored on the island with this series. The fourth category is a book from your childhood. As a kid, I read many books including Babysitter's Club, Wayside School, Boxcar Kids, The Indian in the Cupboard, Angelina, and so many more. But of course, the book that took over my life in the fourth grade was Harry Potter. I've read each book several times and they will never get old. Now technically the rules are one book for this choice, but you can bend the rules a little if you need to. For example, if many books are compiled into one edition, a compilation of all seven books into one edition would be a fearsome thing to behold, but that is what I would bring. If I had to choose one, it would be either the first one or Half-Blood Prince, since those are my favorites. Last but not least, the fifth choice is a free choice. You can bring whatever book you want. So for this, since I love art and art history, I chose Gardener's Art Through the Ages, 12th edition. This was my Bible in art school. But I haven't read every chapter since we mainly just studied Western art history. So chapters on Asia and Africa, except for Egypt, are still unknown to me. And I figure since we're stuck on a desert island, it'd be good to bring something beautiful to look at. So those are my choices. I'd love to hear what you'd bring. Either leave a video response to Misty's original video or just put your pics in the comments below. Also, another rule is no survival guides. This is an island that already has all of the survival resources you need. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.